to show that I mean lines and not line segments. So I need the arrows at the end. And now I need to show that I want these to be parallel. That's what I'm meaning to draw. So instead of writing that, I use symbols alone. So for this, I'm gonna use the parallel symbol sign. So each line has two of the arrow hash marks on it. Precision check before you draw. And check it out, we've got four new points on the tips of these petals. the parts of a circle here with them all written over here. This is a great thing for them to have done. Um, doing is always better than just saying what the definition is. The yellow represents the inside path that Brian takes on the track, and the blue represents the outside path that Leonardo runs on the track. An arc above and I'm going to swing my compass and make an arc below. Don't move your compass, just swing it. Then I'm going to put my compass point on E and do the same exact thing. Make an arc and make an arc. Those are two new points. Let's name them F and G. And now all I have to do is take my straight edge and I'm going to make a line that goes through G, C, and F. So the numbers are kind of the language of geometry. And one of the reasons why I love geometry so much is because it's really the study of everything around us. Not just on the earth, but our experience of being on the earth. 